How you doing? Bro, it's hot. We're here with Javi, an amazing producer. So what's it like being part of the number one album in the world? It's a blessing, honestly. At the end of the day, I'll joke aside, it's a blessing. Um, I'm glad I'm able to, you know, have my my creations out there and everybody's so receptive of it. It's, you know, because like, a lot of people do it and nobody ever hears anything and they don't get the like recognition they deserve. How would you describe the music that you typically create? Ratchet. Like, because here's the thing is like, I like to listen to really like, like Sade is my favorite artist. So I listen yeah. to Sade, D'Angelo, all that stuff. Cause that's where like, I feel like I can't create that. And I feel like I try to be as peaceful as possible, but like all my emotions have to get out somehow. So I right. think it comes out music. So everything I do, like usually I make music is very like, there's a lot going on. Bro. He ain't gonna say anything. Bless bro. So we're very ratchet. Seven. Oh. Bro, it's hot. And you run track, right? Or you run? I ran, yeah. So I run like eight miles a day, but I ran track and cross country collegiately. What's your favorite thing to eat? Favorite thing to eat? I don't eat breakfast. I get like my routine is I get up, and then. I don't eat breakfast usually. I um I'll wake up, I'll run, and then I'll get ready for the day. And by the time I get to the studio or wherever I need to be, it's like three or four, and then I eat. So I eat like I don't eat breakfast. It's really unhealthy. It's really bad. Really? Yeah. Okay. I just forget. Um, your name's Courageous. Yeah. Courageous is my birth name. So was there a point where you listened to a so certain song? What's it going? I just seen the movement. Oh yeah, this is a movement. It's just a movement. You know what I'm saying? I gotta respect that. I'm real with Lil B, Chief Keep, Waka Flocka, those were like my big like, oh, I really want to make beats. Yeah. I was always, I've always in love with music. Growing up, my dad like bought me like Sade, Outkast, John Mary CDs. Like it was always like in my life. I remember my very first show ever, like concert was Odd Future, back when everybody was together in Hawaii. And I remember the energy there, so I was like, yo, I want to make music so people just get crazy. And then I didn't really think it could be a thing until like literally last year. Like, cause people, I started getting some placements. I was like, oh, like people get paid for this. This is kind of cool. We'll see what happens and then happens. <laughs> music is just, I feel like it's a phase of my life right now. Like the production side of it. Cause I ultimately want to start a bunch of NGOs for kids without opportunities in music. So I want to take all the money that I can generate from this and dump it into that. Just know that like a lot of people aren't going to support you. A lot of people aren't going to believe in you because it's your dream, not theirs. They don't understand where you're coming from. But if you really love it, just continue to do it because it's going to work out. I am a firm believer that if you're a good person and you do what you love and you try to do right by others, God will always bless you in the end. A thousand percent of the time. All right, Javi, thank you so much for being a part of our first interviewee series with Lucid Monday. Do you have anything you want to tell the people? I'm just grateful for the opportunity. I'm blessed to be here. I hope something I said inspires somebody to do something great. 100%. 100%. No, that's great. I love the way our feet are moving. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye.